Hey guys, it's Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys again for your support during these three to four months on YouTube. Um, also, a lot of support on Instagram, TikTok. Thank you guys. Really appreciate it. Um, really gonna keep um, keep this up because I'm having a lot of good. I'm having a good time here um, on YouTube, talking to you guys, interacting with you. Love the comments. Keep them going. Um, I'm really having to, I'm surprised how much fun I'm having talking about these products and I'm really glad to see that you are having a good time as well. So um, I wanted to talk about this cute little sunscreen, La Roche-Posay Anthelios 50. This is a nice mineral sunscreen, very compact as you can see, it's 1.7 fluent ounces. As you uh, saw in my other video, super group matte screen this one being 1.5 fluid ounces this one similar in size similar in price uh, i did uh, talk about how the matte screen is nice for oily skin and it does um, blur out your pores but the, i did ding it for a few things um, including price this one i can't say the same that it's um you know price wise i think it's a little bit more justified versus super goops matte screen because it does have a nice treat in it so let's talk about this uh quickly this is titanium and zinc base so ding 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 you got it i heard what you said mineral base so mineral based sunscreen thumbs up there from in my book also it says broad spectrum but broad spectrum meaning it covers uva oh gosh you guys are so good i heard it uva uvb so um uva uvb coverage SPF 50, we wanna go above, let's hear it, SPF 30, you got it. So SPF 30 and above, the sunscreen curve, not much difference between the two. Biggest myth is if I have SPF 70 on myself, this fancy Neutrogena sunscreen, I'm good for the day, but why did I burn? It's because you didn't reapply. So you gotta be able to reapply these things because they, whether it's SPF 30, SPF 70, SPF 100, that you have to reapply every couple of hours at least. Uh, the nice thing about this is that it's ultra light sunscreen fluid. It's the Cell Ox Shield uh, formulation and it has antioxidants, it has an antioxidant complex. Why do we care about antioxidants? We're getting free radical damage from sunlight all the time when we're outdoors. And that's why we say use a vitamin C serum or vitamin C and E. Uh, ferulic acid, those things are great in the morning to protect yourself from free radical uh, oxidative stress. And to, to neutralize that and battle those free radicals, you need antioxidants. This having an antioxidant mixture is so great. It's such a nice bonus. I like that a lot versus Supergoop I talk about is lacking in some extra bonus ingredients. Niacinamide being in UV, uh, L to MD UV clear, being an Ulta MD UV clear, very good, great stuff in that. So um, I, I, I'm, I'm liking this already. This is a good start. Uh, this particular in, uh, sunscreen has a tropical leaf extract, Senna Alata, I believe it's called, or that's how you pronounce it, Senna Alata, as a tropical leaf extract that um, protects your skin cells from aging through neutralizing these uh, photo induced free radicals so very nice that it has this cell ox shield technology and also it has proprietary well-known thermal water in it so the europeans are very good with their thermal water um, they have a very uh, strong spa culture and thermal water is uh, commonly used in their skincare products and i think that's why they're so good is that they really put um, a lot of detail and attention into their products and just as as even going down to as minuscule as the water they use uh, i think is really impressive i'm also uh, excited to review vichy's uh, skincare line as well and uh, stay tuned for that that's a french company vichy is a town in france that also uses um, like thermal water or actually uh, their own volcanic water that's uh, anti-inflammatory, helps with redness and is also moisturizing as well. So I'm excited to do a review on the Mineral 89. Uh, Mineral 89 is their flagship uh, moisturizing serum. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, for in terms of this, they have their thermal water, uh, thermal spring water, 
Uh, I love that the Men's Health Editor's Choice Award did give this uh, a thumbs up and it won in 2019, just last year. So very cool stuff because I think guys, um, fellow guys should definitely consider this. Um, now thinking about price, you know, it is over $30. You know, we're, um, I, I think it's worth, the, it's worth the price because of the nice ingredients in it. And it does rub in very well and it does give you a nice matte finish, but not as much as the Super Group. So if you want a little bit more of a matte finish, I think Super Goose matte screen is a little bit more um, mattifying. This is uh, gives, still gives you a little shine to your face, and um, but I, I still like it. I'm going to compare this to the tinted sunscreen next, okay, guys? And and it also this has vitamin E, tocopherol as well in the ingredient uh, list, which is another antioxidant. So nice. When you before using this, you want to shake it, and then you just twist the cap off just drips out really nicely. Again, this is the non-tinted formulation. Very light. And it rubs in well. Does leave a little shiny look to it versus the matte screen will dull things. If you have oily, shiny skin, it will help take that away. So, you know, in the summertime, if I'm gonna do some filming and I have a little shine to my forehead, this is really nice in taking that away. This one, I don't think it will. Um, it might add to the shine, uh, but I have used this before a run, and this is where it's really cool, is that it's water resistant. So if you look at the, the label, I'm teaching, uh, you guys have gotten really good at looking at labels uh, since you've been watching my stuff, and I can tell, uh, just based on your comments, you guys are all very versed in this, but water resistant 40 minutes. So I went running with this multiple times. I've, and I've had uh, a bunch of sweat dripping down my face this summer and it didn't leak into my eyes, which is a huge plus. Thank you, thank you for not having any of this stuff drip into my face. It's fragrance free, paraben free. We talked about parabens before. Parabens are a preservative that's used in skincare products a lot of times to keep the uh, to increase the shelf life, preventing bacteria or fungus from forming inside um, your skincare products, but it has a bad reputation because um, it has been shown to um, act like estrogen, and it has even been found in trace amounts in breast cancer tissue in those tumors. So um, in terms of what can it do for us, let's just not mess around with that as much as possible. The FDA hasn't said that it's clearly dangerous, um, but we don't know definitively long-term health effects from them. Yeah, it rubs in well. I'm gonna put this on my face and show you too. I can step out and, um, or well, let's just put it on now. So yeah, I already shook it, right? So we're gonna place a small amount. You're supposed to put a teaspoon amount, half a teaspoon amount on your face, but let me just for illustration purposes, apply it just to my cheeks. It does rub in better. It, I feel like I don't have to use as much to rub and cover a certain surface um, versus the um, you know super goop. I feel like I have to squeeze a lot out of the tube uh, to cover, like say a surface like this surface area of the cheek. This rubs in and spreads very nicely. Please refer to my CeraVe sunscreen video on what a white cast is times 100. This does leave a slight white cast, but it is like night and day compared to the CeraVe hydrating sunscreen, which I've done a review on. So not bad. Okay. This is the non-tinted formulation. I will talk about the tinted formulation later and compare the two. Uh, do a side-by-side -side comparison in terms of color for someone who is skin type 3 like myself, which you find in Asians. Um, you, uh, you know, Asians, we tend to be a little bit, you know, we can be skin type 3 to 4, although ethnicity should never be clearly associated with skin types. Skin types is just an objective measure we do use in dermatology um, to describe um, somebody's skin tone and also their tendency to burn. So skin type one being fair skin, blue eyes, red hair, going up the spectrum. I'm, um, I, I can burn, uh, I can burn, but I also can tan. So I'm kind of in the middle. 
Um, skin type four being a great above me being is very easy. I can, they can tan very easily uh, and burn very rarely or not at all. Okay, so um, I'll talk about the uh, tinted formulation soon. Very popular though, the tinted uh, form, but also the concern is how's the consistency in terms of the tint. Some tinted sunscreens can get, have a little bit of a crumbly texture to it. I love uh, Taizo, but I feel like with um, when it gets a little old, it starts to clump up a little bit more. It doesn't blend in as well. Um, and I have compared Taizo to Super Goop's matte screen because they almost have this, uh, I think I call it like a whipped up frosting texture. Very different from this one. This is a water resistant, um, like Super Goop, but very light. It comes out like a liquid, but it spreads on very well. So I feel like that this one, um, so I feel like that this one will last longer. Uh, it has a little bit more fluid ounces, very small amount more. But I think it could last longer than the super group one because you don't have to use as uh, it will spread more. But then again, you have to adhere to the half a teaspoon amount of sunscreen to, for your face and neck. I would, uh, I'm going to give this a Dr. Sugai thumbs up. If we stay with the rating system out of 10, this is an 8.5 out of 10. So if you go to the other system, the Dr. Sugai skin score with the shakas, because this is an 8.5, I'd give this a four and a half stars or four and a half shakas. So four and a half shakas and a big thumbs up for me. Really nice sunscreen. I love that it's mineral based. I love that it's fragrance free. More than SPF 30, it's SPF 50. The Anthelios uh, mixture, uh, the Anthelios version uh, is nice because antioxidant complex, which is really nice for fighting free radicals. Mineral based sunscreen, hard to find any sunscreen that is that has these characteristics less than $30. So if you were to ask me, are there any affordable sunscreens less than $30 that are great that I can recommend without you getting upset with me? I can't. I'm just saying that I, I, I guess I'm going to have to say that these sunscreens, all you, you're going to have to pay more than 30 bucks to get a good sunscreen with all of those nice pros. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys for your support. Please like the video. Please share with any uh, friends who like skincare or are looking into getting a nice sunscreen that is great for the face. You know, I have talked about this being not so good for the face. Definitely use this for like the arms and neck. That's my strategy. Use stuff like this for areas that aren't so visible and use the really nice ingredients, uh, a really nice sunscreens, more than $30, the more expensive ones for the, your face to protect it with antioxidants. All right, take care, have fun this summer. Be well, peace.